here from 50 Shades of Mom. This is my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Um, so I have Target here and Walmart. So Target was really mainly just some couponing. Walmart is to fill in for my meal plan, but next week is my big shopping for the month. My BJ's, my Trader Joe's. So I'm pretty much just shopping my house, my pantry, and trying to go down to completely nothing. And my thing is that I have a budget that I need to stick to. And so if I kind of stay conservative this week and try to use as much as I could here, then I could save more for my big shopping next week. So um, here is my Target. Now, like I said, amazing couponing deals with the couple of gift cards that I had, like the, you know, if you spend something, get $5 in gift cards from that I had from last week and Cartwheel and Ibotta and all of that. I think this is going to end up being $7 for all the stuff right here. So you really can't beat that. So these were on sale, um, all berries two for four. So I got raspberries and blackberries. Jake is complaining that there are no snacks in the house. Again, waiting for my big shopping. So um, I had a coupon for these. They were on sale and a cartwheel. So he has not had this flavor. So he needed to have them. So we got the cream cheese and onion Ritz crisp thins. Um, this was an insane deal, okay? So we're not soda drinkers. If you guys watch my grocery hauls, you know you don't see soda in them. But these were on sale for, for $8.88. So $2.22 a piece is great to begin with, but then there was 25% off. So each one of these cases came to $1.60. You really just can't beat that. People come over all the time. I don't even ever have anything to offer them because we like drink water and juice. So if they don't want aquasana or apple juice, like I kind of can't help them. So um, at least I have something to offer and Daryl will take them out and do like on the road to work. So um, I got those. <clears throat> I love these Siggy's yogurts, but they're expensive and I, I only get them when they're on sale. So they are normally $1.39 at Target, but Ibotta has 75 cents off of one and then they had 25% off. So I think these ended up coming to like 39 cents or something like that. So you kind of can't beat that for these. So I picked up a blueberry and then this is a mixed berry and acai. Uh, I was really happy to see the honey mustard from the Boathouse Farms. Walmart only has the cilantro, avocado, and the ranch. But almost every rebate app has a dollar off of this. So I think this ends up coming to $0.49. Cents. So I got the Boathouse Farms um, honey mustard dressing. $0.99 cents for a pineapple. Like, that's the cheapest I've ever paid for a pineapple in my whole life. It's, like, really ripe. It smells so yummy. So I got that to cut on for the week. And then this was a really great deal, too. So um, the little ones don't eat these, but Jake and Daryl will. And these were on sale for $2, but only this particular flavor, the Lightning McQueen Cookies and Cream, were on Cartwheel for 50% off. So that made these a dollar, but then I had a dollar off of three, making these 66 cents a box. So you, again, you kind of just can't beat that. There's eight granola bars in here, so um, the guys will definitely munch on those. So that was it. I paid 10.22 at the register, but there's still a dollar 50 here, and then three dollars in rebates there. So like I said, this ends up coming to like six or seven bucks but make sure you guys check the description box i'll have a exact breakdown there and then here is walmart so again i got these if you guys can get them they're super seasonal but they're absolutely delicious this is the apriums if you can get the plum cots or of them grab them because you will not be disappointed and they will be out of season before we know it so um i grabbed those got my having whipped cream for my coffee and my recipes um, I got two things of strawberries, one for us to eat on for the week, and we still have not made our strawberry lemonade cupcakes, but I promised I would make them for my next cooking video, so these, um, it will be out for saute Saturday. Um, so one for the cupcakes and one for the kiddos. Um, if you guys didn't just see my lunch video, um, Jake is on medication that curbs his appetite. So whenever he sees something that his palate thinks is going to be something he would be willing to eat during the school day, I jump all over it. So he saw these little cheesy bowls and wanted to try them. So he got chicken, chili cheese mac, and bacon mac and cheese. Um... I've mentioned to guys a couple of times that if I purchase one of these, I would get $4 back on Saving Star. Well, 
I've wrote them, I've talked to them for whatever reason, they're having some kind of issue with logging and keeping track of the credit for these. So this should be my very last one. It says I have $1.62 to go and these were $1.96. So hopefully this should be enough to give me $4 back on Saving Star. Um, rebate for these Stonyfield yogurts and that's to hold us over till BJ's. Uh, my girl Leanne over at Grady's Mom, she always puts these in her grocery haul. She swears by them. She loves them. Jake loves jerky, so I'm thinking he may like these. They're really good in protein. They are no hormones. They're um, no nitrates. So I got these. Um, they're kind of expensive. It's like $5 for this, um, but they have a decent amount of protein. So I think if I just portion these out and give them to Jake, it'd be something good for him to snack on. And I think he will reach for these because he likes this kind of stuff. So I got that for him. Um, a lot of rebate um, markdown stuff this week. Um, I usually get the everything bread, but they didn't have that and you couldn't beat the 58 cents um, for this. So I got this Italian bread for my breakfast hero this week. Um, this was another, I bought a rebate. Um, it says it's made with organic pasta, just something else for Jake. Obviously you can tell a trend, he likes pasta, cheesy pasta. Um, so I got the Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese. Um, these were on um, discount too on Markdown. We love these garlic knots, we freeze them. Um, so see it says they're only good till today, but we'll throw them in the freezer and they were marked down to $1.60, so I grabbed those. These donuts were marked down. Um, there's only eight in the box, but I think $1.78 is great for eight. And there was two regular chocolate, two chocolate frosted, two regular blueberry, and two blueberry frosted. So the kids made me grab those. Um, one gallon of milk, our sour cream for the week. Um, like I said, the kids keep complaining that there are no snacks in the house. So instead of spending money and buying crappy chocolate chip cookies, I just bought um, a package of chocolate chips and I'm going to make homemade cookies when I'm done filming this. So that is for that. Um, I had a coupon for this and it's on rebate and I need a dry shampoo. So I'm trying this one for the first time. This is for soup this week. And then these are my meats to get me through the week. Like literally guys, I had no meats. Like that's what I mean. I'm down to nothing in my house, like waiting for this big shopping. So I got the smallest pack of, I ripped the label a little bit, but I got the smallest pack that I could find, which was $7.82. It's cheaper now um, at BJ's. So I wait to get that. Um, another discount meat, $7.86 for this bottom round steak. I'm using this to make like this Moroccan beef taco kind of thing this week so I got that and I got pork chops for my Thai peanut pork chops so that is pretty much what we are having for the week and now I will oh and then this was $64 and change but I, there's about $10 in rebates here so I um, should get this down to 55 which you kind of can't beat 60 bucks for all of these groceries so now I will share with you guys my meal plan Okay guys, so I am back with the meal plan from Tuesday, which is today, September the 5th through um, Monday the 11th. So I found um, three things that I did not get to show you guys in the grocery haul. So when I first got home, it was so hot outside yesterday that I threw um, this dough right in the freezer because it was starting to rise. So there were two doughs that I did not get to show you and then I also just picked up this brow and brush comb because mine is missing like bristles and all of that. So that was three more dollars of things you guys did not see. Um, okay, so I'm about to throw into the crock pot the steak barbacoa taco meat. So I wanted to show you guys that. This is that street kitchen stuff that I use. Um, I've tried a bunch of different ones of these and I really like them. Um, so they're non-GMO and they use like BPA free plastic. So this right here is like a pickling marinade that you're supposed to use for the onions. And then behind there are two different sauces that you're gonna put in the crock pot with your choice of steak. And you're gonna make like this barbacoa meat, which is very similar to what you can get from Chipotle. <clears throat> 
excuse me. So we're gonna have that with um, some Mexican rice and just some nacho chips. And then tomorrow it's supposed to rain really nasty. So I'm gonna make a big old pot of chicken soup with last week's carcass. And then we never made those Monte Cristos last week. I don't know what happened, but I did not have challah bread in the freezer. I don't know how I missed that. So um, I bought all of those cold cuts thinking I was gonna make that and we did not have the right bread. So now I have those um, cold cuts. So we're gonna do that with the sandwiches and the chicken soup. And then when I was putting stuff in the freezer, I found a small package of ground sausage that I did not know I had. So I threw breakfast hero on there um, and just some fruit salad. Um, Friday, that's where the dough comes in. We're gonna do make your own pizza and I'll make a big salad um, and those garlic knots I showed you guys. And then Saturday, I'm excited because I haven't made chicken parm in like a long time. So I'll do chicken parm. I just usually do a small amount of pasta, like a half a pound for all of us. It's just a small side dish because the chicken parm is pretty filling enough. Um, and then we'll use whatever leftover salad and knots we have from the day before. Um, this is the first football Sunday. So we got people coming over and stuff. I'm really excited. I'm gonna do the whole big shebang. So buffalo chicken dip, chili. We'll use the chips for dipping in that quesadillas, chicken nuggets, taquitos, mozzarella sticks. I think I got pizza rolls in there. So we'll do the whole big football thing. That's You'll start to see a pattern on Sundays because that's this is, this is the season for that. Um, and then Monday is Thai peanut pork chops, that good table stuff. And then um, my pork fried rice, which I have a cooking video for that. I will put an iCard up top for that um, and some broccoli. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching as usual. I hope you enjoy the meal plan. Anything I have recipes for or cooking videos for will be attached in the drop box below. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye everyone.